So, good afternoon mga tito uh, Today, so as promised, papakita ko sa inyo lahat ng mga upgrades ni Rosie So in the past few videos, nakikita nyo, uh, stock pa siya Very basic So, ito yung itsura niya one year later <laughs> So, ganun ka delayed yung mga <laughs> videos ko And it, uh, ngayon ko lang siya na-upload or na-edit. One tip pala mga tito, no? Once you get this one, brand new, once you get the bike brand new, straight from the casa, uh, these are the, at, le at, le at least, these are the things that I would like to recommend na unang-una nyo yung gagawin. Although, mangyari, pag galing nyo sa casa, gusto nyo siyang i uh, at least pagka uwi nyo, the next day, or depende, uh, you try to have these things done uh, para you know to improve yung ano nyo, yung convenience nyo on riding this bike number one number one to address the heat so uh, sabi nila yung at that time at least nung binili ko yung bike nung binili ko yung bike yung oil ni Rusi yung stock oil ni Rusi hindi daw maganda so mainit siya bakit mainit yung engine so, pag gumamit ka ng stock oil, it normally happens. So, kaya pag gumamit ka ng synthetic oil, yung 10W40. So, in this case, sa Rusi, it's recommended, at least dito para sa Sigma, it's recommended na gumamit ka ng 20W50 na type of oil. So, what this oil does is that actually, uh, explain din, na explain din siya ng boss ko before, na nasa oil industry. Ang nangyari, yung oil, yung 20W50, habang mas umiinit, accordingly, habang mas umiinit, actually, mas gumaganda yung performance. So, yun yung nagagawa nun sa motor. Since, yun yung mga China bikes is uh, mainit siya. So, the 20W50 type of oil, of oil really suits the type of motorcycle na meron tayo. So, that's one. To address, number one, the heat. Number two, uh, yung mga bikes natin, yung carb niya, meron siyang microfilter. So, minsan may mga cases na, this one, natutunong ko rin, no, from the Sigma Moto Elites na grupo. So, yung, o, yung tanke, sometimes, during assembly, accordingly, may mga styro, ano, may mga dumi yan, na, na, na meron pa sa loob ng tanke, wherein, uh, hindi na flash out during assembly. So, ang tendency niya, papasok siya sa fuel line. So, mag-mix siya with the gasoline, magpapasok siya sa fuel line, papasok siya sa carburetor. And ang ten tendency, over time, mababa rin yung carburetor mo. So, ang epekto nun, mawawala yung pa power, power mini acceleration ng motor mo para magiging palyado siya. So, that, ang main reason nun is because barado na yung microfilter. So, ang nangyari, the immediate re remedy na ginagawa ng mga owners nitong Sigma is that pinapalitan nila, binabypass nila from the fuel tank, papunta sa carburetor, meron silang linalagay na fuel filter so in my case, noong una, I was considering na plastic lang yung fuel filter pero it was suggested sa akin, wag yung wag tayo gumamit ng plastic fuel filter because natutunaw siya over time with the gasoline that we have uh, best pa rin yung glass filter, so ipopost ko na lang dito, or i I'll put a picture on it ko ano itsura ng filter na nakuha ko this one I also got from uh, Lasson Works okay so at least I would say those if you do immediately yung dalawang bagay na yun uh, may improve yung experience nyo sa paggamit nitong bike so hindi ka kakabahan hindi ka mamamatayan hindi irregular yung magiging takbo ng motor nyo it is magiging maganda yung takbo nyo over time and also one thing I really highly recommend yun nga yung clutch extension kasi lalambot talaga yung clutch nyo Okay, so with that, ito, let's talk about naman yung all the other accessories na nakakabit ngayon sa motor. Okay, so just to explain, so how, paano ba natin gagawin ito? How are we gonna go about this? So, una, papakita ko yung nasa front. Lahat mo nasa front. Then, we work our way on top. And then, pagdating doon sa taas, we'll go to the back. And then, finally, dito sa side. So, I explain ko lahat ng mga accessories na nakabit. Okay, so, first upgrade, so first accessory na gusto ko ipakita sa inyo was that, pinaltan ko yung headlights. 
ni Rosie. So the headlights uh, from stock na halogen now are now LED. So I used uh, C9 LEDs. Now these came from Lasson Works. You'll also notice painted yung front cowl. I don't know. And also yung front mud guard painted then as white. So those done. Those were done by Lasson Works. And also the foldable ninja side mirrors. So that one I bought from Kate Moto. Eh, ako na lang rin lang nakabit. You can check out my previous video. You will also notice meron din nakakabit na fog lights. So the fog lights, this one I bought online. And then si Lawson Works na din lang yung nagkabit. I also had uh, LED park lights installed. So just to show you how the LED park lights work. Uh, these were installed by Joe M. Uh, taga, ano siya? Taga Bikutan, Paranaque. So I'll just open park light. Oh, diba? <laughs> Ang pogi. So, yan yung itsura niya pag naka-park light. And then, I'll show you yung left turn signal and then the right turn signal. Yan itsura niya when the left turn signal is on. Then, ganyan naman siya pagka right turn signal. Now, si Joe M, siya na rin yung nagkabit ng ano ko, hazard light. So, for the hazard light, pakita ko yung itsura niya. That's what it looks like. So, diba? Pogi. <laughs> Okay, so now pakita ko naman yung the rest of the upgrades. Okay, so for the other upgrades, I think you already know now or in my previous video how I installed the Moto Wolf uh, cell phone holder with USB charger. Ganun na rin yung voltmeter as you can see. Ayan. Okay, and what I also had installed is this one. Uh, bumili na rin ako ng clip-ons online, which nakita ko online. So, you will notice here. So, these are 48mm clip-ons on a bar na same as size as our stock, which is yung 7 8 uh, This one I got online and then pinakabit ko na lang siya kay Lasson Works. So, this one is a uh, NCY quick throttle. Now, why maganda ito? Maganda ito dahil uh, ano siya? This is this one I bought online and uh, yung quick throttle na ito, this is bearing type. So the ano, mas maganda yung play niya rather than yung normal na plastic lock. So bearing type siya, mas smooth siya when you uh, squeeze on the throttle. Okay? So from here, you wala naman upgrade. Now we go to the back. Okay, so this is what it looks like from the back. So, uh, so far, ang nakabit ko lang naman dito would be one yung tail tidy. So, this is supplied by si ano, Ikabod. So, Dubai ka Ikabod. You can find him on uh, ano rin, Facebook. And also, if you look at yung muffler ko, my muffler is actually stock, pero ano siya? Uh, kal kal na siya. So, I had it done sa may muli, no? Uh, it's a shop. I forgot the name of the shop, unfortunately. So it's a shop just beside Motor Star Molino. So if you want to go there, you can check them out. Magaling sila gumawa ng kalkal, uh, kalkal pipe. Now, uh, you will notice also na wala na akong mud guard sa likod. So I actually bought uh, this one online. So this one, I plan to install when I have enough tools already. Apparently, maliit yung mga liyabi ko rito, yung mga wrench ko. So, hindi ko lang siya makapit. Pero, once I get the right tools, I'm pretty sure makakapit ko nito. Just to show you how the Z1000 taillight, taillight works, ganito siya. So, this is the park light. Park light. Uh, brake light. Right turn light. Right turn light. Hazard. We're back in this view, so this is where it gets more interesting. So I'll now enumerate lahat ng mga upgrades natin from starting from the left going down going to the right okay so first one you will notice is that yung alloy wheels the alloy wheels or the mag wheels are painted so this one i had si lason works uli ang gumawa so pininturahan niya both wheels ko and you'll also notice the stance no no bike so it's lowered by about 
two inches. So si Lawson works din yung gumawa niyan. Moving to the right. So again, yung frame sliders, you will notice the frame sliders ang nagkabit si iRide PH. But previously known as iRide PH, now uh, meron na siyang sariling shop. It's called Arc Moto. So you can check him out. Ilalagay ko na lang sila sa description. And he is also known as uh, Ukina Moto Vlog. Now for the performance upgrades. The first performance upgrade that I did, nagpalit ako ng spark plug. It's an NGK Regium spark plug na nabili ko rin kay Lawson Works. Sabay-sabay ko na siyang pinagawa. Uh, pinakabit yung Regium spark plug. Nagpalit na rin ako ng carb to 30mm carb. So dahil sa pagpalit ko ng 30mm carb, naka-open carb na ako ngayon. Hindi ko na ginagamit yung air filter. And... To support the carb, pinasan din lahat ng uh, electricals. So for example, yung ignition coil, uh, pinalitan, nakabit, nakakabit na rin ngayon is Apido uh, ignition coil. And then, uh, meron akong Mutaru uh, Racing CDI. So this one also binili ko kay Lawson Works. And yung Mutaru CDI, nakawiring siya in a way na ginamit pa rin niya yung old yung stock CDI. So, naka-wire siya, naka-parallel. So, meaning, pag namatay yung isa, gagana pa rin yung kabila. And yung Motaro Racing CDI uh, has 8 uh, settings. So, 0 being yung kahit na anong start mo, hindi siya gagana. And then, 1 to the lowest setting. And then, 8, mamaw settings, I guess. <laughs> so, ganun yung settings niya. Okay, and then you will also notice, so going na again, those, so those are all the engine enhancements that were done. Ah, one other enhancement that was done rin pala to the engine is that this was already port and polish na. So the port and polish service was done by Daps Works Performance. Okay, so si Daps Works Performance is based in Bulacan, so he was able to do this, siya yung nag port and polish ng uh, bike. So ang ganda ng acceleration niya. Now, to enhance the speed, so the sprocket has been changed. So the front sprocket and then the rear sprocket has been changed already. So the stock sprocket is 13 in the front, 13 teeth in the front, 42 teeth, teeth in the rear. So ngayon, ang setting niya is 15 teeth in the front, 44 teeth in the rear. So ang mangyayari, uh, according to sprocket calculator, this will give about a 10%. Uh, increase in speed pero a decrease in torque naman ng 10% so that is why nandun yung um, uh, 30mm carb, yung racing ignition coil, racing CDI, ganun rin port and polish para makompensate yung loss in torque na yun na 10% eh, para lumalaba, same pa rin yung torque pero at least now I gained about 10% uh, speed so far in the field test ni Lawson Works, when this was only 1,800 kilometers pa lang ang tinatakbo. Finil test na siya ni Lawson Works, I'll show the video clip. Or actually, you can check out yung Tito Moto trailer in YouTube. You will see there uh, yung top speed na na-achieve ni Lawson Works so far. So at that time, uh, last year, so that was 142 kilometers per hour ang na-achieve niya. So, not bad. Ako hindi ko kaya patakbuhin ng ganun kabilis yun. Medyo takot na ako. 100 ba lang takot na ako. So, <laughs> and, so anyway, so yun lang yung mga uh, nakabet so far. Uh, also, what you will notice here, uh, yung shifter ko. The shifter ko, I don't use the stock shifter. This is a shifter extension, also fabricated by Lawson Works. So, what this does, although mamomodify yung the way you shift, for example, currently it's one down and then five up. Pero ito, baliktad na. This will be 1 up and then 5 down. So, ano advantage nito? Bakit ako nagpakabit nito? Because, uh, I notice yung shifter ko parang tumitigas na. And, uh, ang hirap mag-shift. So, unlike this one, this is now directly connected dun sa pinaka-shifter. Dun sa nakakonect sa engine. Um, so, in a way, I guess, mas madali, mas smooth, mas malambot siya as compared to the old shifter I had. So, yun yung parang naging benefit niya. And also, what I had done from this part is that nagpakabit na rin ako ng uh, racing clutch. So, this one, pinakabit ko rin siya kay Lasson Works. So, Lasson Works did uh, replace the ra it with racing clutch. Ganun na rin. And installed, installed na rin yung mga 
racing springs. Ah, and then uh, also let's not forget no, the last and uh, actually well, this is one of the first ever upgrades that I had. Yun tires, let's not forget the tires. The tires are also hindi na siya stock, stock, stock size, pero the tires, these are Aspiro Premio tires. Uh, accordingly, also made by Pirelli. So, this one I got from uh, Takara Tires. And uh, another enhancement that I had done, so hindi lang nakalista, uh, hindi lang visible dito, but I had the battery also changed. Yung battery ko, hindi na siya stock battery. So, nasira na yung stock battery. I now use a OD, OD gel type maintenance free battery. So, this one I got from uh, one of the shops dito sa Las Piñas. And then, papakita ko na sa inyo. I will categorize each accessory into one is uh, performance. So, performance. When I say performance, this is anything related to speed. Perform, yung increasing the speed or uh, increasing the acceleration or improving the acceleration. Ganun na rin yung a little bit of safety kasi I think the tires, I categorize the tires as part of nung performance because you know, ma madulas pa yung stock tires. Eh. Now, the next category that I did is uh, convenience. Convenience meaning how to make um, my riding easier. So, pasok, kasama na doon yung upgrades na ginawa ni uh, Arc Moto. Yung Arc Moto, siya yung gumawa ng shifter extension, yung engine bracket, and yung uh, itong mga sliders, and the clutch extension would make, would make the clutch so much softer. So, dahil naging mas convenient siya. Maybe hindi naman siya necessary. Depende, depende sa tao. But for me, convenient siya. Kasi ngayon, from matigas, naging malambot yung clutch. And then, convenience in a way, I think, for the sliders, I say convenience siya because um, pag natumba yung bike, hindi ko kailangan ipa-repair yung fairing. I'll just replace na lang yung slider. Ganun na lang siya. So that's why convenient siya. It doesn't add to the performance ng bike or uh, safety of the rider. Okay, and then the last would be last part would be yung aesthetics part. The aesthetics part is mainly yung overall paganda lang dun sa bike. So kasama na dun yung painting, the tail light, the LEDs, LED lights, and the side mirror. So ganun siya. Ganun lang yung uh, I guess side mirrors are part of convenience, but yeah, so far uh, those are all that I've done. Those are all the upgrades na nagawa ko. So I will Subtotal din, so subtotal ko lahat ng mga accessories by category. So, I guess para makatulong din sa inyo ito uh, na ma-determine kung ano ba yung dapat nyo i-prioritize. Kung priority nyo speed, torque, ay ito, itong mga accessories. Extra mga accessories ang ikabit nyo. Kung gusto nyo convenience, you know, para lang mapadali yung pagra-ride natin, then buy these accessories. And then kung gusto nyo pagpapaganda, which is yung aesthetics, itong accessories, accessories na to ang bibili nyo. Okay? Sa so final part of this video, so how much actually did I spend para dun sa lahat ng mga accessories na ito? Actually, I spent almost close to I would say 30,000 pesos na in terms of accessories. So, I guess those are all the all I have to say. So, comment comment ka rin in this video if you think meron ako na miss out na accessories that I do not know of yet. So, lagay nyo lang sa comment section and then let's see. Mahalay nyo eh. Kabit ko rin siya later on. Okay? So, that's uh, the end of today's video. If you haven't done it yet, please do give it a like, comment, share, and also subscribe to this channel. So, thank you very much po. Have a nice day. Peace out. Ride safe.